orientated and where you and the entry team are silhouetted against. Make sense? So we're going to go ahead and do a stack here. I think Q just disconnected, eh? Yeah, he's walking. Okay. Can I move him? No, I can't. All right. Let's stack up on this wall. Can I execute him? He probably... Okay. Whoa, God. <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you here, Hugh? No, he disconnected from TeamSpeak. All right. Yeah. He's losing connection. I well, teleport him. Meter. It won't work. All right, guys. I want you to stack up on this wall. So I want Chase. He's going to be point. Chase is number one man. Blockboy, you're number two. Pizza, you're number three. Storm, you're number four. Now, each person in the stack has an area of responsibility that they're responsible for. All right? So when you're stacking up, when everyone's all stacked up, you've got the number one man identifies which side the door is on and where the nearest threat is. So in this instance, Chase is watching whoops, that's not I didn't mean to do that. Chase is watching that opening. The point man is always gonna go low. So that the second guy behind him, in case anything happens, he can shoot above him. The second guy, or number two man, is pulling security ahead of the stack down the long axis of the hallway or road and is assessing it for the next objective room, looking for anything that might impede your team towards it. So let's say this was a hallway and there was another room. So Blockboy, you're watching that direction. Over yes. there, right? The third man pulls securities to the flanks and overhead of the stack, and in some cases is the position of the team lead, right? So you're also, in your case, you would be watching in that direction, right? Yeah. And the rear guy is exactly doing number four man or the breacher provides positive safe entry for the team, usually equipped with a shotgun of some sorts, as well as a way to defuse or disarm traps. When not breaching, he helps provide security to the rear. So exactly what Storm's doing, right? He's watching to the rear. So this way, you've got all areas of cover, uh, all areas of responsibilities covered, right? So no Wait. matter where something comes out, you've got it covered, right? If an enemy AI comes around, this is a build, this is a building, comes out a door over here, Block Boy should be the immediate one to spot it and take it out instantly. Wait, isn't isn't rear man also going? Low? Oh, he is. Okay. No, rear man is watching the rear. No, yeah, I mean going low. Rear man can go low. It doesn't matter. He's watching the rear, right? Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter where you stack up. So let's say, for instance, block boy was in the rear. Well, if he's at the rear of the stack, he's watching the rear, right? You know, pizza. If you were a point man, you're watching this door. Does that make sense? And it kind of, you kind of, if there's a five man fire team, well, you know, you just kind of, the fifth guy or the fourth guy in this case would be Storm. He would help watching if this was in the middle of a road or something, he'd be watching like the second story of rooms and things like that. Right? <coughs> covering everything. All right. So I want you guys to breach this room. Let's see how you do it. Yep, okay, so just ahead. two seconds, sorry. What are your commands that you guys use for when you're breaching, going left, going right? What are your Back usual again. commands that you use? Explain. I apologize. So, I got off topic. So, there's different methods of breaching. You've got, right now you're all stacked up on this wall, right? The point man, it doesn't matter which direction User joined your channel. the point man goes, you need to go the opposite direction of the person ahead of you. So, let's all here look at this. If, for instance, Chase, if he said he's crossing, he would go directly across the far wall over there. Then, Block Boy, you come in and you'd button hook to the left, exactly. Then, Pizza would come in and he would go right. 
then Storm would come in and go left. So when you're done, when everyone's set and in position here, exactly, Block Boy, you should be about here. Yeah, right there. Storm is right there. You guys are actually in perfect positions where you are. Now, when the first person comes in, come all out for a sec. When the first person comes in, your area of responsibility is down the long axis, right? It doesn't matter what's in the other side of the room. So when Chase came in, he immediately walks and checks down the far corner of the room. Sorry, far corner. Okay. Then when Block Boy comes in, his area of responsibility is the far corner of the left side. Then he sweeps and gets the, the right corner. Does that make sense? Yes. Then when Pizza comes in, he immediately checks the far corner as well. So when everyone's in, all arms are bared to the center of the room. Does that make sense? Yep. So you've got the cross method, which is going across the doorway, or the button hook, which you step you're entering into the side you're stacked up on. Right? So for instance, if Chase button hooked to the left, block boy, you'd go right. And then pizza would go left. Then Jex goes right. Sorry, just doing some training. Right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, see if you see. It doesn't matter. Let's say somebody screwed up and he went in the wrong direction that he was told to go. It doesn't matter what the person what you were told to go what direction you're told to go, as long as you go in the opposite direction of the guy in front of you. Alright? So let's try it one more time. Go ahead. Okay guys, I'm going to be doing the crossover method, so three, two, one. Perfect. You don't want to go that far, Chase, that's too far down. Sorry, I just did it for dramatic effect. You want to go about halfway through the room. Right, about there. And this is kind of a, this is more for like compounds with, you know, with uh, you got a building and a fenced area. This is where you'd use that, that sort of situation. Now give me a sec, I'm gonna, nah, that's fine. Okay, that makes sense? Yeah. So let's move on to a shoot house, come over here. Uh, Chase, you might want to join the squad. Just for pointing. So, again, this is your entrance. Right? Your fatal funnel. Okay? Now, we're going to go over some principles of CQB. There's three principles with CQB that you always need to be, always need to remember, right? That you can use for any situation. You've got speed, surprise, and the violence of the action. You can use this even for entering an AO, right? Your speed is achieved through a well-designated plan, solid tactics to gain proximity to the, to the AO, and a quick and smooth entry. Never stop. It doesn't matter where you are. Do not stop in this doorway. Move and shoot. Because as soon as you guys stop in this doorway, you're dead. And then you impede the rest of the team getting in and securing that room and saving your life. Right? Let's go ahead and stack up again. Uh, don't stack up there. It's, you can stack up against the long ass move like this. So Chase, you got points? Yep. So you're number one man. Who's number two? Uh, the block. Then yep. pizza, and then 
Jokes. Getting a good from getting a good position here. Okay. So you don't even have to tell you you don't even have to tell your team which direction you're going. As long as they're paying attention and moving in the opposite direction. So go ahead and breach this room. Okay, breaching in three, two, one. Too slow, move fast. All right, right there, Chase. If there was a guy down here, you'd be dead. You know why? This is another fatal funnel. Right here. So when you're breaching a room, you never want to go past another entry like this, right? This is your most immediate threat. So when you come in, room is clear, everyone's good. Oh, hello. Oh, you, nice. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So now, let's say there was a contact in here. First one got taken out easily, no problem. But now Chase kept moving down here, and there was another contact here. Instantly lit him up. Do you see? So now Chase is point man. Pizza would be second man. And Corporal, here, Hugh, get down here. What are you doing over there? Chicky Britty. Hugh's so serious time. Where do you think the next immediate threat is? Well, there's two because you've got around the corner there. Somebody could be hiding in the corner. The immediate, threat. immediate threat would be this area here, but crossing over. Yeah. So that would be your next objective. So your point man now would be Pizza, then Hugh, Block Boy, and Storm would hold the rear. Right? So you can stack up. And quickly enter. So go ahead and stack up. How would you what? stack up? Wait, why is Chase over there now? This is where I would stop halfway into the room before I get into the next bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so he's no longer a point man. His second man is now point man because he's covering that end, that funnel. All right, so go ahead and breach. Okay, crossing, breaching. Three, two, one, breach, breach, breach. Wrong. When you're breaching, so you did the cross method, right? Hold on. Here. This was so much easier when a, there was a fire team in here to kind of punish you for your mistakes. <laughs> Are you okay. saying I should have stopped here? No, you came in. I would have actually breached along here. I would have formed up here instead of going around like this, right? I would have just formed a line here and just moved in. Cross, right? So you'd have four guys. You'd have one here guarding that flank. One here, guarding this flank. Remember, the two-point guy, number one and number two guy, would go low, right? Immediately go low in here. So that the guys behind them, number three and four guy, can shoot over top of them if they need to be, right? So that's something you got to be aware of, is when to go low and when not to. So it was my issue that I didn't go low? Yeah. Copy, okay. Because you got to remember, going low... You're bringing more firepower to bear when you, you're low and the guy above you is high. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this way, plus it limits your chance of getting shot in the back or anything like that. So at this point, Chase, you're not, you're not watching this area. You should not be watching this area. They're going to be breaching it. You should be watching this area. No, nope, you, you just killed yourself. Again, they're going to breach. You don't know what's down here, right? Oh no, I was I would be doing that while they're breaching, I suppose. You don't even have to move. You're just covering that point. 
Because what happens if you're middle of breaching and a guy walks down this way? I pop a cap and he's us. Down there, he immediately kills one of you. Possibly two of you. So covering... That would be the second objective. Oh shit, oh my. That would be the second objective, right? So you're watching for any threats. See, that's where you kind of have to adapt, especially as a team leader. You know, if any of you guys are, you know, eventually leading a team, you've got five guys in a team. Doing a compound like this is pretty easy with a three or four man team, but with a fifth guy, the fifth guy's responsibility is kind of just guarding the flank, right? As the other teams move in and clear the sectors, right? So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Okay, breaching in three, two, one, breach, breach, breach. Yes. Okay. You. Yep. And storm. Breaching with them. Gotta remember, one left, one right. So you know what? I'm gonna go let storm, because since he doesn't really doesn't need, he's gonna be the the rear guard. All right. So Chase, you go ahead. You be right across of Hugh. All right. So this is how it would look, exactly like that. What you guys have set up. You've got multiple points of multiple points covered in, in case there's contacts, right? And it also sets you up for the next part because this is a T. Right? You've got a hallway going this way, and you've got a room going this way, or a hallway going this way. You don't know. In this instance, you got to breach them together. Right? Oh, that's why you see, like, in movies, people going alone into rooms, eventually. And using uh, the fucking paper clip. You never breach by yourself. That's usually when the dude, like, standing behind the door pops a cap and the guy that goes into a room by himself. Yeah. So in this instance, right, what would happen is block, or uh, who's, who's leading? Pizza, you're, you, sorry, I can't see you. You'd be team leading, and what you want to do is you want to breach both sides at the same time. But now how would you go ahead and do that? How would you go about doing that? Uh, you would uh, coincide your movement. Yep. So if you have... Fight... You have flashbangs, right? Use a flashbang. Yeah. Yeah, but if if if, if he's gone, just a, just a quick one. Sorry, just out of curiosity, because he's gone forward like this now. If I was standing over here, he'd be dead. So wouldn't pizza cross over this way at the same time as the other dude crosses over the other way? That way. You're both covered that way, like crisscross? Chances are, if there was a guy right here, Pizza would have shot him already. Because he moved in up to that point, right? You just didn't breach the fatal funnel. You're looking into it, right? So what you would do is you'd throw flashbangs together. But Pizza, you'd throw that way. And then Block Boy, you'd throw... The opposite way. Just very quick about that corner here. Yeah. Uh, I would have cleared that when moving in. Because at first I'm standing like straight onto it. And then I turn. Yeah, but you you can't see what's further into the room. Yeah. But just because somebody pointed out that we should have cleared that corner. This but corner that... would have been clear if there was a guy right here. But not the far corner over here. Yeah, that's that's obvious, yeah. Okay, so getting back to this, we're, we're getting off topic here. Go low, get back in position. So you guys throw your your flashbangs crossways, right? And then when it blows, make sure you're looking down and away. And then when you hear the bang, you breach. So block boy, you guys are breaching. You guys are hooking to the right this way. And then the other team would hook to the left this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and do that now. Should we actually throw something? 
Yeah, throw your flashbang. But pizza is team leak. He will designate the time and when you do it. Okay, flashbang's ready. Ready. Uh, throw it. Fleet, two, one, throw. Move in, move in. Ah, pizza, you're dead. Again. Hold on, so what, shall I swoop and come around right? You I don't mean, want to breach. So when you come in, here, come over here, look at this. Okay? When you come in, you swoop down. Chances are there would have been a guy here. I would have immediately taken him out and stopped right there. Right where I am. At this point, chances are you would have had to go this way a bit. And the guy behind you would have had to clear this corner. Just because the way Arma is, right? And the way hitboxes are and stuff, right? But you don't want to breach this area. This is another fatal funnel. Okay? You haven't cleared this sector yet. That's why Storm, back here, is watching that you guys don't get flanked. Does also, that make I would have sense? Been, I would have been shot in the back because I didn't know this fucking corridor was then if there was a guy there with a fucking clash in the golf i would have been fucking buggered yeah this part makes it a little difficult right to do you could have came down from this corner and breached both ways again but you're gonna run into situations like this it just remember where the fatal funnels are because there's a fatal funnel right where i'm standing all the way down to the other room a fatal funnel here think of it like lines intersecting hallways right yeah that's why point man goes low and the second man goes high all right does that make sense yes all right Sorry if this seems a little boring. There would be guys in here, but they all just uh, up and started running around. All right, so get into your positions and how you cleared them. You could just set up targets for, right? I could. You know what? Actually, if you guys want, I could give me about 10 minutes and I can set up live targets in here. This makes it more interesting for you if you want. Uh, does this does this continue? Because I saw there was like a, a larger section of this place on the next. There is. It's more of the first one is a small one, and I kind of go through the basics for you, and then for the other ones, I just let you guys go. Right. Right, because perhaps like sort of like inspect us on how we do on this one, and then. We take a little bit of a break afterwards, and you can have that yeah, time. Yeah, that's how I did it the other day, yeah. I mean, I would just suggest, do you have multiple shoot we do or just multiple this shutouts. one big one? This isn't a big one, this is a small one. So it you means have the one on the other more side. than one kill house. I have four of them, yes. Okay, I would just suggest uh, watching us doing this one, and then taking a break and setting up targets in the next one i'll be honest i don't think we're anywhere near experienced enough to be able to do it by ourselves yet no sal where did sal go he disconnected yeah, because he disconnected. his computer crashed sal went through this yes i went through a little bit of this this morning with him right um i went through with shrom and uh yeah, i can't remember his name horrible with names but anyways even after about two hours of this, they were still getting lit up because they forgetting their corners, they forget the pie, right? It's something that you constantly have to be in your mind. We're, we're almost done this one, right? So we'll continue on. It won't be too much longer, and then I'll set up and you guys can... Right, okay, um... Don't go, guys. He's trying to lure us into a fatal funnel. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. Should we re-go with the flashbangs? Or were those yeah, the only ones you Yeah, you can if you want. Right. I don't Redo forget the... your earplugs. Yeah, make sure you got earplugs and make sure you're looking down. Why do I have duck shot in my fucking thing? You're hunting uh, ducks. 
Yeah, but I've got an M4, not an ETS. Hmm. Okay, All you right. know, fuck it. Okay, Flashbang. On you, pizza. Alright, I'm going low. Flashbang's ready. Flashbang ready. Three, two, one. Move breach, in, move breach, in. Breach. Did you not get past him? A little bit to the right, yeah. There you go. That's exactly what I would do, is I'd hook around like this and just hug this point. Right where you are. Okay. So, I would've been no, fucked. No, 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 don't, don't peek, don't peek. Your area of responsibility now is this room. You're watching this whole front now. Okay? Whoa, where are you? Whoa. Okay, so how did you guys do? Perfect. Okay, so now Storm is still watching to the rear. You guys are clear. So now you guys would move up. And now while Q watches this objective here, you guys, your next most dangerous part is this point here. So you guys can either breach the left side while another team breaches the right. So you can, you're splitting off into two. Remember, you've got five guys. So how would you do it, Pizza? Um, so you're let's go half left well the problem is if we go half left uh, and they take that room in front of us we don't know what's on that in that room we don't know where that goes like we know this is like a really short area so perhaps we should all breach this left please what if there's a guy over it. here you can't see if there's a guy in this corner over here so as soon as you breach that, well, it yeah, you up. but I mean, I mean, there's there's risk associated with either option, right? You have flashbangs. Is that just going to be the answer? Well, that's what they do in real life, isn't it? Just flashbang the shit out of everything. User joined so. your channel. You ever played Rainbow Six Siege? Breach this area. Breach this room at the same time. Right? You've got two teams. Right? So block boy. And Chase would move up into here, over where I am. They would breach to the right. Well, not where I am, but you guys would, two guys would breach this way, and at the same time, somebody would breach this next room. Right. Would not one and two go left and. Twice at the same time. Exactly the way you guys did it over there. Okay. Money well, is currently digging bangs, into my shoulder. Right? I'm just saying, use flashbangs to your advantage as well, right? They are a tool you can use to cover a room while you breach another one, right? Okay, Earth flash. What? what? Actually, fuck it, never mind. What you say? Oh, I was gonna say throw a flashbang. Well, if I'm throwing one into this room, presumably there's somebody, Hugh, crossing to throw one down here, right? Hugh's guarding this point. That point. Okay, he won't be so... <laughs> Okay, fine. Would I not be no, no, here, no, no, no. and I would throw the flashbang here from the angle, and then go left, leaving third man to go and assist Peter, and the fourth man to assist me? No, no, no. Because that, that would have me cross here. The first man is no matter what he's gonna do is he's gonna go left. Yeah. Point man's gonna go left. You have to, because you need to clear this funnel first. Second man, you can even have go into the room behind you. Right. Second man would probably clear this room or whatever. Go left here. Right. Okay. Like I case, said, it's kind I'll of armor. Um... You have to think outside the box a little bit because it doesn't give you the most easiest. You know. Right, oh, go left, right, left, right. Yeah, so I would, I'll I would, yeah, and I would be throwing one in your path, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna simulate a flashbang, and then you would go left, and I would go straight across. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Very quick, would I keep watching rear too, since we no, got two funnels here now? Well, there's there's two rears now. No, there's not. 
Did you clear that room? Yeah, that, that's that hole, though. Did you clear that hole? That hole should be clear, but people could move there. Go look, go look at that hole again. Well, we don't know if it's around the corner, if there's a way around the corner. You can't possibly know. Well, Zeus knows everything, but yeah. You're fine. You're weird. Fine. Shit, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and breach this. We're spending too much time on this point. Okay, flashbang in three, two, one. Bang! Breach. Breach. Beautifully done. Okay. So now Storm doesn't need to guard the rear anymore. Come on, Nico. Now we got six guys. So at this point, you can split your team up. And we're going to do that. Three left, three right. You've got an opening here, which he is guarding. So Sal, Storm, and Q are going to take this one. While you guys are going to breach into the next room. Okay? So Chase is point man on the second first team. Q, you're point man on the, the first team. You look like someone out the fucking GSG9. Ooh. So, you, Sal. Let's start moving. You guys can breach your, 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 uh, when you feel comfortable. Okay, uh, guys from my group, <coughs> I don't have any flashbangs, so I'm gonna simulate throwing a flashbang. No, it's alright, I'll just simulate, I'll say throwing flashbang and then bang. That way, you guys know. <coughs> right, you guys ready? Right, throwing a flashbang. Ready, ready, okay. Bang. Three, two, one. Hello. Well, would we be, would we be moving line. through these funnels? Yeah, we're doing some CPC. Opening right. Like. What, well, the second man would be going down there? You would Just actually like... would have cleared this one. Uh, you look, you turn, uh, you go right, and I'll go left. Cross? I was just gonna hook left. Wait, hold on. Do you have any flashbangs or any grenades? Yeah, I got flashbangs. Okay. Okay. So Unfortunately for me, I do not have a flashbang, but I do have two M6s. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, Sorry, I'm just right uh, going through a training grenade? in a group of guys. So. Okay. So your next objective, you've cleared this room. So go ahead and stack up accordingly to clear yeah, the next one. Give me some. Remember to IFF your targets. So go ahead and breach when you guys feel you're comfortable. Just give me a okay. Right, you guys ready? Stack up on me. We're going to simulate throwing the flashbang. I'm going to throw it against okay. that wall. Uh, I just stay where you are, Zeus. I'm just going to shoot at a wall to simulate where I'm going to be throwing it. Yep, I'm gonna... Against that wall there, I'd be throwing it. That way, when I go in, I'd be able to catch anybody on a west. Is it Russian or is it... Never mind. Right, throwing flashbang. Okay, you guys can breach. Bang. I throw right, you throw left. Why hold uh, other teams there? Just throw right, throw right. I'll be covering that room over here, uh, up ahead. Are you guys paying attention? Yeah, we are. They've just moved in. Okay. Okay, wait. Stack up on the wall in front of us. You're already stacked up. Just move in. Wrong. You cover your corner. You're moving in. Never move to the center of the room, you. You go... You either go left, follow the wall, or you hug the wall to the right. Never run into the center of the room. The whole point of breaching is make sure you hug the walls. Okay? Alright. So, at this point... You know, since there's so many of you, you guys can split off into two teams. So go ahead and do so now. You guys got your main teams going, so... You might need to join uh, the squad, so... Split off into, like, a red team and a green team. 
Okay, my team go yellow team because, uh, you know, yellow's the best. Oh, well, okay. We're red. Right. Now that you have this many people, I'm going to go through something else quickly with you. You have what you call a cover and a clear team tactics. So while you guys are in here, technically on the outside, you have a cover team covering the entrance of that door. And let's say there's multiple stories to here, they would be suppressing the, the top floor or the floor above you, right? So in this instance, uh, Chase and his team would be the entering team. Uh, Hugh and his team would be the uh, cover team. So the re responsibilities of the cover team is you suppress the building while the clearing team moves into position. Suppressing floors that the clearing team is not on. Communicating with the clearing team to coordinate said suppression. So that means the entering... So Chase, when, you, when you've cleared the first floor, you communicate to the cover team, okay, first floor clear, moving to the second floor. So then they would automatically start suppressing the first floor or the floor above you. Right, depending on which floor you're on. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. Hey, do you want us to carry carry responsibilities are moving methodically through the structure room by room until it is clear of hostile forces, communicating their movements to the cover team so that the cover team can shift fire accordingly. So communication is key to both teams. So go ahead and uh, do so breach. Okay, second team, uh, first team ready, flashing. Yeah, simulating the bang, throwing the flashbang now. Bang. Second team had the rule to our right. And remember, always watch your flank. So this is good. So continue on. Moving across. First team Clear. keep breaching, second team following behind. Okay, so at this point would I stack up on block boy because he's theoretically the front man, yep. point man. Block boy would be now point. Okay. So how okay. we do this is first team's gonna breach, second team will follow behind and breach like they don't or they're not there, right? Alright, uh throwing flashbang in three, two, one. Block boy, stay Wait. low. But, well, oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Stay low. Okay, what yeah. what would I be covering now, left or right? You would actually move into the room more. You'd cover in, take out the contact back here, then move into the rest of the room. Because okay, so I would just move into in another here. cone. What? So I would just move into yeah. like th this cone here. Well, yeah, you I mean, kind of move into this. I mean, that's slightly you... confusing. What what makes this room different from a previous one? Where because because this looks like we have one funnel here, right? We got one funnel here, and then we got another funnel here. So why is it that it's okay in this point to clear this and then move okay. straight into a second funnel? And this when, isn't uh, a funnel. You would immediately. Just because you know from the structure of the building, right? You know for a fact that over here, this was one floor. This is a wall, an outer wall, right? Coming over here, you would know instantly that there's a little nook here. So constantly being aware of the structure and it's, you know, how it's proportionate to everyone else. Yeah, I mean, else. I just, I, I, I'm not... This would be the fatal tunnel. You're saying that's so. So this one here doesn't count. It's just a bit misleading because it is on. bit misleading. But that's again being well, aware of your okay. surroundings. We're gonna breach, right? As right. you yep, breach, yep, yep. knowing, you know, keeping your head on a swivel, because there could be a guy sitting right here. Go right to breach, breach. Yes, breach. Right. Would I have stopped in the correct position? Because obviously this is another entrance here, but because of the window over there. Yeah. So basically, uh, Block Boy, he went right, so he would immediately clear that window. As he turns in, he's constantly looking at the corner, that far Might as well corner. Yeah. Right? And then he comes in and he across. clears towards the center of the room. Right? Um, 
I think I should probably okay. move forward towards that uh, corner the there, team, and then I'll we'll, have we'll a head good visual and, on the uh, reassess, okay? area where they're probably talking at the moment. Uh, you and Storm. Uh... The last room was like really confusing. Too much time. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I think that Remember, I don't know. It's annoying. I feel like the definition of the funnel changed. As long as the person behind no, the uh, it, it kind of makes sense if he says it like that, but he would have had to define it different earlier. Because he said never go into another cone or something, and uh, I would have gone through three cones move, clearing that thing. Yeah, right. But uh, you, I guess you would have had to move on too. Do you understand? And it seems like, absurd I'm not, I'm not to assume to, sorry if we feel like I'm the layout of the know, room I'm not, I'm not trying to based on just trying to explain one the wall from the other side. The process right? of it is supposed to be fluid yeah. and intricate, right? So go ahead and do so. Flash. A lot. Sorry guys, I'll set up some uh, live fire here because it's pretty uh, boring and it's hard to stress the uh, points of interest if you know there isn't an actual AI there shooting you. So yeah, I think I think that would help because I'm struggling to yeah understand. Yeah, that's yeah. the big thing I'm I'm uh, having a hard time with. So I'm gonna set it all up. If you guys wanna kind of hunker down somewhere. Sure, I'm gonna go grab some more stone grenades. Yeah, go ahead and uh, grab something to eat. It'll be like 10 minutes, okay? Sorry. Disconnected. I'm gonna... I'm gonna set up the next AO, guys, so just so you're aware. I'll confirm. Interruption after interruption. Hello, of course, King. Hello. Hello. Hi, Corey. How are you doing? Fine. How are Mm -hmm. oh, I am. Yep. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's a fucking wildfire in that place. I wonder what that smoke was. Okay, um, Sal, you're going to be behind 
storm. Okay. Move when ready, storm. What are you guys doing? Move in, move in. Can you please not be doing that? If you guys want to clear that first uh, kill house again, just for practice. Yeah, go ahead and clear it. The other team is. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Do you want to go? Uh... I'm almost done. I was going to say, do you want to go first as point man and I'll go you? I mean, I don't care. I'm not team lead. I'm not medic. I'm going to do it. Okay, just looks like the two of us. We'll do two man breaching clue. Okay. Uh, breaching in three. Should, should I throw a grenade? Uh, just go. <coughs> Alright. Just go throwing and then go bang or something. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Is that in front of us considered a funnel? Uh, by the way, friendlies in Kelly. I think that's. Yeah, that's cool. Hold well on. Um, I, th I think that was like a peak hole, yeah, you know? Like, yeah, ready to go. We'll move in three, two, one. It's just dead in front of us. I think so, just get ready. Right. Simulate flashbang if you're ready, Sal. Okay. At this point, I'd go uh, right, you go right, left. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Okay. I mean, we could just clear the right 
room. Well, then we'd be exposed to the kill line for the left, so you would need to go left, I would need to go right. Jesus, opening right. Wait, 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 what? Well, there's two of us. Oh, there's three of us again. Where did pizza come from? Two openings right. Yep. Uh, Storm, you would come back. Okay, so I'll go. I would be going right, but throwing a flashbang left. You would be going left, but throwing yeah. a flashbang right. Yeah. <laughs> right, throwing flashbang in three, two, um, one, bang. The next room is clear from what I can see, but. Alright. Get ready to move in. Three. Clear. Two. One. Out. Stacked up on you. Fucking hell! What was that? We'll just carry on with you. I don't even know. I, I don't Did know anyone even go in oh. here earlier? No. Oh wait, that's... The wrong flashbangs. That was a flashbang? My leg's injured. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I said the white one. That's a fragmentation grenade. The, the white one. Drop your flashbang. Right. on you. That, that, that's where we came from. We don't need to stick up here. Yeah, but the other way is jammed, so we'll just breach and clear this way, I guess. It's just, well, okay. It's I mean, yeah, it's kind of pointless, I suppose. Yeah. You don't you like, never you... use grenades when doing CQC. Because you don't know if there's a hostage. How do you know if you just tossed a grenade in there and it killed the hostage? You... One thing to note, too, these are plywood walls. You could <laughs> through the walls. Fragmentation goes through the walls. Okay. There could also be like a stash of fuel or something in there, and the whole house would blow up. So yeah, you don't even know if there was a hostage in there afterwards if you saw it through the soup. So, just so you know, there is now live targets in this AO in this shoot house you're in. <laughs> I think I just jizzed. So it's not a good go thing ahead to just... and breach. So do as you were doing there. You guys can even set up into two different teams. There's another kill house set up if you guys want to split up. Yeah, we'll go to the second one, I think. Do you want to do that? Yeah, we'll go to the second one. So Blockboy, Pizza, and Chase, go ahead. You want right. to breach the right. right room while you guys breach the left? Okay, on you. If you want to use flashbangs, go. Dash. Yeah, I probably would. Alright, throwing flashbang in three. Uh, I've got 12. How many have you got? I got like 8. Ah, oh, it should be more than enough. We've got 20 then between us. Yeah, I've got 12. <laughs> <laughs> 32. <laughs> Alright. Flashbang in Guys, three. Guys, make sure you're all on 110 so I can talk to all of you if I need to. Okay, whenever you're ready. I mean, yeah, I'm ready. Yep. Is pizza ready? I'm ready. Pizza's born ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking wall. Damn it! I don't even have a fucking thing. Quick question: How do I s <coughs> switch between different types of grenades? Uh, Shift G, toggle that. No, it's um, Control G to switch grenades. Okay, got it. Yeah, but that makes much more sense because you can like throw, change your angle very quick. Okay. I think that's nice. So, right, I'm gonna throw a grenade. Should, shouldn't I be throwing it? Because I got the long gun. Uh, yeah, you do. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash in three. So, uh, then pizza would be second, I guess. Yeah, pizza would be, you'd be rear. Okay. In three, two, one. Just 
sight. Boom. Wow, Chase, going crazy there. Yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah, you're quite right. I went the, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. It's it's fine. I should be where, <coughs> where pizza, <coughs> pizza is. That was my fault. Uh, can someone stop my wound? Uh, I don't have anything. Q, you're in a fatal funnel. What are you doing? Okay, Chase, you want to go over that? So, I would have been hugging this right. wall here. And yep. then clearing the corner. And you would have... I would have gone where Pizza's gone, and I would have fo would followed have, the close side. No, you'd have, you would have watched that corner. You would have just stayed right here, and watched that corner. I think we're getting shot at. All the other guys. If there was a guy there, he would have died. Are we clearing this room on the right? Yeah. Uh, Pizza, you're first man again. Frank, flashback. Trust your other teammates to cover the other area. I don't think that was a flash. Did you grab the blue yeah, ones? Breaching. That just killed him. <laughs> yeah, you grabbed the blue ones. No, you did you grab the blue M84s? No, because I... Fuck's sake. Right, okay. So, at this point we'd have one man covering this death zone here, and then I'd be no, here. You wouldn't. You would be stacking up here. We would be going from here, or like from, from this corner, having one guy on there, and then doing the next cone here. Okay, I'll cover the doorway. Right. I kind of can't move because of that tree. I'm gonna just try. Yeah, that's okay. Sal, you got point. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm on you, but Uh, flash in three, two, one. Fucking, do it. Chase. Yep. How did the dude not die? Well, I don't know. I mean, we came to this part and. All right, uh... Chase your team hold there for a second. Okay. So, Lockboy, let's back up here for a second. Back up a bit more. Okay. Stack up like you were before. When you moved, you should have instantly saw that guy, Blockboy. I did. I lit him up. No, you missed. What? The guy to the right. No, the guy over here. What guy over here? Oh <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. Please. Uh, two seconds. Uh, and Jura, could you throw me a heal, buddy? I'm kind of bleeding out. I can heal you. No, uh, Zeus can just do an instant heal. It's a lot easier. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So, what happened there? Chase, you should have kept moving in. Instead, you stopped. 
Yeah. Well, my my f- my front man, he went right. So I went to go left, but I walked straight into a line of fire at the dude directly across the way. Yeah, but you keep moving and shooting. Yeah, you have to move in the room, right? You need to move together. The whole point of this is you have to move together, move and shoot, right? So Block Boy, your first target should have been that guy over there. I seriously... Your second target should have been here. Because as you're moving up, you haven't even breached off to the right. You should have seen that guy. His plane is dead. Because he's actually one that started shooting you. You fell down, and the guy over in this corner continued to shoot you. You were actually being shot by two different guys at the same time. But if Chase would have... Did I not heal you, Chase? Uh, yeah, you healed me. I'm just... Uh, my dude's no, looking Chase funny. would have moved in again... It was good, Oh no, sorry, you, you didn't hear me, forgive me. But Chase, if you would have kept moving, you would have immediately done this exact same thing. You would have seen that guy, took him out, gone to the left. But I, the problem with that was, I saw my point man lying on the floor, and I was under fire from the guy on the left, and I saw there was a shooter on the right. So if I'd have proceeded to go into the room, I would have been shot in the back by the guy on the right, and in the front by the guy directly across. So no, the third guy would have cleared the right guy. Yeah, by which time... The whole point, see, I, I know it, it, yeah, where that situation was, but you just didn't move in, you weren't on his tail at the same time, you weren't with him the entire time. As he's moving, you should be, like, on his ass. Like, right, okay, be, like, yeah. So the problem with it was my distance to him more than anything else. Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, it all comes down I mean? to me not seeing the dude over there. Yeah. Exactly. But then, if you were going low, Chase, because again, Black Boy, you were still up, you were high when you entered the room again. You gotta stop doing that. Chase would have been able to shoot above you, even if you missed this guy over here. Chase could have shot it, right? One fluid motion, that's the whole point of this. A fluid motion as you enter into the room. Okay, so we'll try this again. All right, are we are we good to go? Yeah, I think so. We're breaking in three, two, one. Uh, should we like take the Just dudes going. down again? Just uh, breach the room. Point man, you've got to let you know when you're breaching. You can't just move. Three, two, one, breach. And you move on breach. Dang, in one fluid motion. This is why you, when you, when I say you don't breach a room by yourself, because technically Block Boy breached breach that room by himself. He should be healed, doesn't he not? Uh, no, sorry, you, you didn't heal me there. I, I thought you did, but you didn't. Okay, that was my bad. I thought he was inside there. I won't ACL you guys. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, if you're uh, I'm fine. Heals, I need a heal as well, though. Yeah, I'll give you a heal. Give me a second here. I think I was just shredded. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so second team, I uh, continue on. First team, uh, you could declare that compound. Yeah, that was. As we were moving in, I saw someone that side, and I thought it was just one of their team. 
I was just waiting to see the ring to go in. Okay, Inger, how would I cross over to the I have no idea what that was going on. I don't know why he just teleported there, just... He was under the ground and just teleported there, my bad. Okay. I have no idea what the AI are doing. Okay, right, I'll be point on this one. Right, throwing breach, uh, throwing flashbang now. Q. Hugh, what are you doing? Yeah. Just give me a radio, please, because I'll borrow yours. Okay, ready for to throw okay. flag brown. Uh, stand by. Let's check up first. Say again. You. Uh, we got to stack uh, up on you first. You moved into it. You moved into another cone here. Yeah, I know. Do you, do you not have a radio? Can you not hear me? One tick. Okay, throwing now. Okay. First off, why did you breach the fatal funnel? Oh! Breach, breach, breach. Um, so I could cover them both? No, that's not what I was teaching you, was it? Right, point man, this is exactly the same layout as the other one. You were meant to come round to my position and clear here while I went. <coughs> okay. Do you remember this is what he told us no, last time? If I'd done the you would have had to hug, and technically... That was where we were told that we should... You were second guy, right? I was second, yeah. This is the same room where you were for point, and you were told you should have came in, come around here, cleared here. Yeah, but you would have had... Your, your uh, position would have been where I am now. Yeah. Since he was point and moved left, and you would have had to go right. I know I should have moved around the corner, yes. But yeah. Would I have been here? If I if I'd done a button. No. Let, let's stick pick up again. Yeah, like so so I, I flash back and yeah. crossed. And then you would have had to hug. And come to this position. And then I would have been covering that corner. But had I had I done a button. Ah, uh, because yeah, you crossed into the button. Okay. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. Sorry, forgive me, that was uh that was my bad there. I should be uh, more observant and doing the opposite of what you do. <laughs> Sorry, it's confusing. Don't don't breach on your own, fucking. You just uh, oh, that's the uh, oh. That's, that's this isn't going very well, is it? Uh, I just um. Oh God, we have a man down. Ah, oh, don't die, me, Charlie. Don't die. Breathe, breathe. That's basically what you want to do. Is having six people, uh, like a full fire team of five, is a little too much. Breach with three, two guys cover. But the whole point of this, I'm trying to get everyone. I'm okay. bleeding out, boss. <coughs> I'm hurt real bad. <laughs> I could just put him out of his misery. No, no, don't do that. Permission to put him out of his misery. No. Yeah, I think, uh, blah, 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 blah. pizza, I think you're throwing grenades again. Okay. I'm let out, that's why I died. Thank you very much, buddy. You. Why are you covering the entrance while they move in? I got, I got to know why you're doing this. Is am I not explaining it? it it's or? it's no 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 it's me it's my basic instinct to cover the don't. God, no. yes I know it's, don't if like I said earlier if you have a cover and clear team right it would be different but you're splitting up in three band teams moving in stacking and pushing in together because here's what happens you come over here or you guys come over here you've got. What you did, Hugh, you ran across here, instantly got lit up by two different guys. This is the fatal funnel. 
The whole point is move fluid motion together. Right? Not one guy covered. What you're talking about is bounding. One guy would cover and then they bound across. You don't cover an entrance as they're moving into it. If anything, you'd be covering the rear. Does that does that make it sense? I mean, if you guys if you think this isn't making sense, please tell me that I'm just pulling this out of my ass or something, right? Because at the end of the day, it's you guys doing this. And you know, I, I apologize. It's not the the most best setup. I had an original setup for this, which would have made it a lot easier. But uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, making do with what we got. I had it down, I think. Well, I, I messed up on the the last room because um, you crossed and I expected you to do the other one. But yeah, we we kind of had it down. Okay, so Hugh, Pizza, Block Boy, stack up. Everyone else, pull back a little bit. Hugh, you take points. Point man goes low. So Hugh, where's your area of responsibility? At, on the stack. You? Reaching. Three, two, one. Uh, Flash out. Am I not here? Hold on. Q, can you not hear me? Am I talking? Can Am I not coming through? Can anybody hear me? I can I hear you. Can, yeah. Okay. Hugh, can you hear me? You can right. you not hold, hear Hold Gera. on, I'm back. I was just trying to fucking config okay, my settings. Okay, just calm down. Just take, take a breather. I mean, this isn't... I'm not trying to get up sage. I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand that I'm teaching you properly, right? So you're not going through and, you know, doing something else. I'm going to um, grab a cigarette and I'll be right back, just while they're doing the thing with you. Okay. So, Hugh, where is your area of responsibility? Uh, the opposites. The entrance. Okay, good. Nobody's there. Okay. Uh, the entrance sort of covering... Your point man. Your number one man. Number one man identifies what side of the door is on. Is it open, closed? Is there another across from it? Once you identify, you stack accordingly. Once stacked, check for traps or locks. Maintain security on the door. Your, your AOR is the most immediate threat. So the most immediate threat right now is this door. On the stack, right? Block boy, what's your area of responsibility is number two man the second immediate threat so the con i move into you say again sorry kind of the, the con i would move into would be what i'm covering the long axis of the hallway or the next objective so let's say you're in a room yeah so the next objective would be the next corner right yeah so pizza's got the right idea third man in the stack or in case like there's only a three-man stack Third man, last man, watches the rear. Okay? So go ahead and breach. Fluid motion, all together. So point man, three, two, one, breach. Where's the fucking breach? Why are you standing in the oh, Jesus Christ, I am not fitted for fucking CQC. It's fine, it's fine. I need a Z Zeal. Yeah, fluid motion. Don't stop in the flame. Don't stop in the fatal funnel. Because you see what happened there? You stopped, the whole stack stopped behind you. They died in front of you and they couldn't get into the room to clear that AO, to clear that corner. You gotta call that breach as well, man. Yeah. He said breach, so I just went. You're the point, man. You okay, call, not his car. No, he he just he, he said three, two, one. And then okay, breach, so I was following him, and then I went in. All right. And second team calls breach. That's team one breach. Okay, let's calm down. Take a second, here, guys. Use AI. Okay. Okay, 
I apologize. Maybe I should have uh, been a bit more clear. I was explaining point man goes 3 two, one breach, right? They breach on you, your point. They don't move until you tell them to move. Okay. Okay, so remember what I said. Fluid motion into the room. Make sure you get out of the fatal funnel. Do not stop. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. That is your biggest ally, no matter what aspect of armor you're playing. Moving and shooting is the biggest key to staying alive. Because, yeah, you would have taken a couple shots. But you would have possibly went down in the middle of the room, out of the way of the Fatal Funnel, allowing the rest of your teammates in there to clear it so they can heal you and get access to you. Because if they can't get in there, they can't get to you. Right? Alright, we're going to go again. Yes, it is. Sorry. I'm just being no, fucking no, just, retarded. Just take um, a breath. You're not retarded. It's just sometimes it takes, you know, a couple times. That's why we practice. That's why we do the training. Right? Okay. I'm sorry that I kind of went, went up near there. It's, it's fucking my right. fault. I stopped halfway through. It's not your fault. Where it's did, my uh, fault. I'm missing a guy. Where did he go? Okay, yeah. Pizza, we're going to trade guns, all right? You've got a shotgun. Either you're going to trade guns with me or you're going to go at the front.